months after slamming Pence for sexist policies, the left faces endless sexual misconduct accusations. After word broke in the spring that Vice President Mike Pence never dines alone with a woman or attends events featuring alcohol without his wife, leftists pounced on him like wolves, accusing him of being a sexist creep. But as noted earlier this month my blogger Matt Walsh in a piece for the Daily Wire, when all is said and done, Mike Pence may be the only man left standing. In the past couple of months dozens of men in Hollywood, Washington and the media have been outed as serial sexual harassers and abusers with a history of mistreating women, actor Kevin Spacey, film producer Harvey Weinstein, comedian Louis C.K., Democrat Rep. John Conyers, Democrat Senator Al Franken, journalist Charlie Rose, etc. A list compiled this week by the Associated Press goes on for days, though the presence of many leftist Hollywood fat cats is unmistakable. It's also ironic, since the left was so quick to castigate Pence for his dinner habits last spring, with both New York Magazine and Slate making it seem like the vice president treats his wife like his mother. The attacks on social media were even more brutal. In the eyes of the law and the government, women are equal to men, opined columnist Robin Abkarian. They are deserving of the same workplace opportunities that historically have presented themselves to men. If professional women and men cannot be alone together, women are the ones who will pay a price, she added. They will not have the kind of mentoring that promotes workplace advancement. They will not develop the same kinds of relationships with bosses that their male colleagues do. They will lose out. Is there no other way for Pence to associate with female co-workers than to invite them to dinner at some swanky restaurant? Come on now! Dovetailing back to Walsh's piece for the Daily Wire, he rightly noted why neither Pence nor his wife ever have to worry about getting caught up in a sex scandal. The vice president and his wife don't have to worry about being embroiled in one of these scandals because they never allow themselves to be alone with a member of the opposite sex, Walsh wrote. They don't do lunch dates. They don't have closed-door, one-on-one meetings. And they certainly would neither hold nor attend a meeting in a hotel room. Exactly. They keep their professional encounters, wait for it, professional. What a radical thought, right? Had leftists been following these same rules, perhaps not as many of them would be caught up in sex scandals right now, right now.